This month has been pretty gay so far, which, you know, makes sense. It's Pride Month, so of course it's going to be a gay month, which is fine. You know, gay is pretty hot. I fucks with gayness, but, you know, you guys already know that I've been exposed for being the big gay. I've also been exposed recently for kidnapping a kid. I'm freaking loving it. I think you're a little bit cute. I'm fucking gay. But honestly, that doesn't really matter because that's not what we're talking about today. I only wanted to let you guys know because if you hear screaming in the background, it's probably from the little bugger chained up in my basement. But anyways, uh, Pride Month. It's a time when gays come out of their house and wag their little wieners around in public. Uh, me personally, I like to wag my wiener in the helicopter motion. Unfortunately, if you twirl it too fast, it might take you off into the sky and you might hit something. That's the only downside. This is also the time of the month when companies compete on who can get the most brownie points. Not too long ago, it was blackie points. Companies were trying super hard to get black people to buy their products. But Nickelodeon came out with a tweet recently showing that SpongeBob came out of the pineapple. Fuck me, SpongeBob! Oh, yeah! They're sickening. I hate gay people. Die! Die! Celebrating hashtag pride with the LGBTQ community and their allies this month and every month. So of course we have Spongebob here. We have Cora who likes PP and Vigini. And I don't know who this bald fuck is. I guess he's gay too. Now of course people on Twitter are eating this up because they're a bunch of mindless zombies that will pretty much just eat up anything that seems progressive even though it might be harmful or just stupid. Like this is stupid. This is just fucking dumb. I don't have any problem with a character in a kid's show being gay or bisexual or whatever. I didn't go on a full-blown rant when I found out Korra was bisexual in her show. It was established. It was hinted at. Avatar Kyoshi was also confirmed bisexual in her recent comic that was published. I still really like the character. Doesn't change my perspective one bit. But I do have a problem with making characters gay or bisexual for no goddamn reason. What is the point in making Spongebob gay? He's a cartoon sponge. The last time I checked, Spongebob's only relationship was with a fucking Krabby Patty. Why just call him gay out of nowhere? This is some JK Rowling shit. Hagrid was actually a brown single mother in a wheelchair. Steven Hillenburg, the creator of Spongebob, actually noted that Spongebob is asexual because people were asking whether Spongebob was gay or not. I think that's a perfect response. He's asexual. He's not attracted to anyone. You know why we don't see Spongebob going out trying to bang a fish? It's because this show doesn't focus on romantic relationships. And when it does come up once in a while, it's supposed to be comedic and played for laughs. Like that time when Squidward and Mr. Krabs got boners for Patrick. Honestly, I just find this whole tweet to be insulting towards the legitimate community. Nickelodeon's way of showing appreciation is out of nowhere giving a cartoon sponge who's only been attracted to a hamburger the gay gene well look at how progressive we are we, we made a sponge gay can we just stop making everything gay for no reason now i dropped the walking dead show oh, way I before they made 90 percent of the world population gay but if the show was still good by then i would have dropped for that reason being gay isn't a personality trait and i'm sick of all these tv shows creating all these token characters to merely just display that they're progressive i mean now these characters are becoming more like tools and less like characters if you want to create a gay character, fine. But when you start using them for propaganda, then it becomes obnoxious. 